On a volcanic island where the earthquake just occurred, a plane coming to support is preparing to take off, but the front of the runway is covered with flames. The lava behind the plane is also slowly approaching. The lives of more than 100 people are in the hands of this problematic intern. Why is he a problematic intern? Because his personality is a maverick. He never liked to follow the rules. Lexi was originally an Air Force pilot on a mission to deliver relief supplies. The general used his authority to add the jeeps to the plane. This caused the plane to be overweight. At night they encountered a thunderstorm. The overweight plane was in danger of crashing. The general ordered Lexi to dump the supplies, but Lexi threw the jeeps off the plane. As a result, of course, he was dismissed. Lexi returns to Moscow and finds his father, Igor, who is the chief designer of the plane. Igor told him to be more obedient and to follow the rules. It turned out that this was the third time Lexi had been fired. Igor finally introduced Lexi to a small civil aviation company for an interview. The interviewer was a serious and old-fashioned captain named Leonid. Leonid was a little upset that Lexi was late. He made it so difficult that Lexi didn't land the plane safely. Lexi meets Elena on his way out. He got a call in the car that he passed the interview. It turns out that the other interviewer didn't think even Leonid would be able to complete the test. Leonid, of course, was not convinced. As a result, he also failed the test, and so Lexi became Leonid's trainee pilot on his first day of work. Ikaria, the flight attendant, took a liking to Lexi. Entry, the flight attendant, was envious because he had been courting Ikaria, but Ikaria didn't feel anything for him. Lexi, an Air Force pilot, flew his first civilian plane like a fighter jet. Leonid reprimanded him for this. Leonid is a serious talker at work but a chatterbox at home. He talked to his wife at home about everything that happened in the company. Leonid has an unhappy son, who is in the rebellious stage of adolescence. Because of his work, communication between father and son is often problematic. Leonid also had a lot of headaches. Lexi and Leonid have flown to many places. The two have been working well together. Lexi found out that Elena was also a pilot. He started to pursue Elena. The two soon became a couple. One day when the plane was landing, there was a big fog. Lexi vaguely saw a plane in front of him. He hurriedly pulled the plane up to go around the second circle. Leonid did not see the danger, but blamed Lexi. After they got off the plane, Leonid was approached by the tower staff. He said that a Turkish plane had just flown on the wrong runway. Luckily, you reacted in time to avoid the accident. Leonid realized what had just happened. Back home he praised Lexi to his wife. This time they flew a plane to Africa. But there was a coup d'état. The airport was suddenly surrounded by the army. The army won't let the refugees from their country board the plane. Lexi tried to call the consulate to ask for everyone to be taken away. Instead, Leonid told him to prepare for takeoff. He said that citizens have no right to interfere in the internal affairs of other countries. Watching the fleeing refugees fall at the gunpoint of the army. Lexi was upset. Back home, he complained to Elena about it all. But what girlfriend was to hear her boyfriend complain about something she can't do all the time. The two have a bit of a falling out. Lexi's next flight. The majority shareholder of the company gets on the plane. He's smoking on the plane in violation of passenger rules. Entry comes up to remind him. But the assistant next to the shareholder reaches out and pushes him. Ictoria came to the cockpit to tell the captain this information. And so Lexi, who had been silent for half a year, got into trouble again. He walked out of the cockpit despite Leonid's resistance and put out the cigarette in the shareholder's hand. The assistant attacked him first. The three men got into a random fight and the plane was forced to return. The company executives approached Leonid and accused him of how could he let a trainee out of the cockpit. Leonid stood up for Lexi this time. He thinks Lexi did the right thing. When you're dealing with someone who doesn't play by the rules and you don't have to tell him the rules, the executives wanted to fire Lexi. But Leonid didn't agree. The executive told Leonid to take a private jet for a month to get away from the situation. He told Leonid to choose to experience co-pilots to follow him. Leonid chose Lexi and Elena. He also brought his son with him and wanted to foster a father-son bond. Lexi was embarrassed after seeing Elena and all of this was intentional on Leonid's part. He knew Lexi and Elena were having a falling out. He took this opportunity to bring them back together. Leonid told Lexi to take a break. He and Elena flew first. Leonid woke Lexi up in the middle of the night. He said there was an earthquake on a volcanic island. The islanders asked for help, evacuating the injured. Their plane was the closest to the island, and there were no passengers on the plane. Their superiors left it up to them to decide whether or not to go. Lexi didn't even think about it and said yes. So they flew to the island. When the plane first landed, 
the situation on the island was quite positive. The damage from the disaster wasn't too bad. The man in charge told the Enid a bus was on its way to pick up the people. The plane would be ready to take off when the bus arrived. The Enid sent Lexi to the terminal to check the weather information. An aftershock followed on the island. The terminal building collapsed. Several planes exploded in the airport. The scariest part was that the main runway for the planes broke down the middle. The rest of the existing runway was too short. The planes could not take off properly. Lexi found a second runway that hadn't been destroyed. But that runway was covered in fire. There were fuel tanks next to it. It could explode at any moment. That's when the bus arrived. A passenger from the bus asked for help. She said there were a lot of people trapped on the top of the mountain. Lexi was going to drive the bus to the rescue. But Leanna didn't agree. Lexi asked Leanna if he was going to leave them here. Why did he come in the first place? Leanna's son and Andrew also went to help. Next to a plane full of passengers ready to take off. But the runway was too short and not enough power. Eventually the plane crashed and people died. Everyone was shocked. At that moment, the volcano also erupted. Leonid saw a small cargo plane at the edge of the airport. He planned to use this plane to take off because the runway was too short. They had no other choice. Lexi's sight soon met the trapped crowd on the hillside. He was able to get them all to the car. But on their way back to the airport, they were blocked by a volcano spewing lava. Andre's car was trapped. Luckily, Lexi was smart enough to use his car as a bridge. There was no road ahead of them. They had no choice but to walk straight down the mountain. Leonid was waiting anxiously for them to return. But the man in charge told him that they weren't coming back. The way down the mountain was blocked by lava. If the plane doesn't take off in five minutes, the lava will spread to the airport. I then, they couldn't leave either. He looked at the frightened crowd and had no choice but to evacuate. Leonid refueled their plane. He believed that if Lexi was still alive, Lexi would have used the plane to get up and evacuate the area. By the time Lexi and the crowd arrived at the airport, Leonid and the others had already left. By now the lava was flowing into the airport. They were surrounded by a sea of fire. Lexi didn't have time to think. He decided to use runway to, to take off. That's how the opening scene came about. He saw a water tower on the side of the runway. So Lexi plans to use the lava to knock down the water tower so that he could take off in the few seconds it took to reduce the fire on the ground. By this time, the lava was already flowing behind the plane. He had to accelerate. Fortunately, the water tower was really knocked down by him. They managed to get out of the fire and take off. But the more dangerous part was yet to come. The landing gear on one side of the plane was damaged and could not be retracted. As their plane was going through the volcanic ash, the left engine of the plane caught fire and burned up. The right engine also began to catch fire. Lexi had to slow the plane down and hope the fire would go out. Fortunately, they had some luck. Their plane made it out of the volcanic ash. The company rushed to set up a command team to study the plan. Lexi's father, Igor, was also called in as a technical advisor. Lexi requested to land at the nearest airport. That's when Leonid ran into trouble. Their plane's fuel tank was damaged during takeoff, causing a fuel leak. They could only hold on for another 20 minutes. Leonid planned to make a crash landing on the sea, but a cargo plane landing on the sea is like committing suicide. Just when everyone was at a loss, Leonid's son came up with a crazy idea. He said he could connect the two planes with a rope. The people on the cargo plane could be transferred to the other plane by the rope. But this is very dangerous for Lexi. If he wasn't careful, he could cause both planes to be destroyed at the same time. He could not make this decision alone. What follows is one of the most touching scenes in the film. As the boy walks by with his hands up, the people on the plane also raise their hands. One mother says, I don't agree that I have a child. But the child next to her takes her hand. Lexi took control of the plane and slowly approached them. But there was another problem. The air pressure in the plane was so high that the cabin door could not be opened. That's when Lexi's father, Igor, had an idea. He told Lexi that she could open the floor of the cabin and use the cargo door to move the passengers. Luckily, this worked. The people were transferred in three groups to another plane. But not everyone was rescued. Some people fell out of the air into the sea. But that was the best that could be done. Now all they had to do was get the plane to land. They were caught in a thunderstorm and couldn't see the runway. The landing gear was still damaged on one side of the plane. One of the wings broke off completely during the taxi. Lexi tried desperately to keep the plane steady. The plane finally came to a stop. Some of the people who survived the disaster hugged each other. Some were crying because of the loss of their loved ones. Each of them had a new appreciation for life. Ikteria started to ask Andrea out on dates. 
the relationship between Leonid and his son was also elevated. Leonid is also acknowledging that Lexi passed the exam, but Lexi still did not avoid the fate of the fourth dismissal. The major shareholder approached the company. The executives were pressured to fire them both, but they were recommended to Aeroflot. Leonid ended up training with Lexi as a trainee. Leonid was embarrassed to do rope climbing with the young interns. This is also a new journey of life with some comedy.